Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from 5 to Go. We are here today to show you kind of what our outdoor setup is. And obviously, it's not done right now. That's because we had to take everything down. We've had some really bad storms in this area. We're in Virginia. There have been like tornado watches and warnings, tornado warnings and all that stuff. thunderstorms. Yeah, so when we saw all that stuff coming, we came out, we broke everything down, secured everything because we don't need our stuff blowing around no. and hitting people's cars or our own and all that. So. It's a nice, beautiful day. Yes, it is. And we're going to take advantage of this beautiful day and show you guys how we set everything up outside. Okay, as you can see, we still have the mat down. That's because we stake it. I'll show you those stakes in just a minute. And we also have our little folding table down. And we have children playing. So this video might be a little louder than normal. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and start bringing the awning out. We're going to bring our chairs out. And we'll show you how that whole process goes. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, first things first, I wanna make sure that my straps are ready to go on the awning as soon as it's out. It's a little windy today. If it was like a nice calm day, I wouldn't be as worried about this part as much, but I wanna go ahead and get these done because I don't want it to be compromised in any way before I have a chance to strap it down. So I use a system like this. It's uh, just a Camco awning strap system from, I think it was Camping World, like 20, 25 bucks, somewhere in there. Uh, basically, this is gonna screw into the ground and then this guy hooks onto here and then the strap attaches to this buckle and goes up and around the awning and then you just cinch it down nice and snug. Uh, the reason I like this is when this is screwed into the ground, I could probably only pull it out with my truck uh, and this spring here actually gives a little bit. So it lets the awning move and flex without becoming detached because if you don't have this flex in here, it's gonna be fighting against it and might you know, could do damage or bend an arm if the awning really gets going. So let's go ahead and get this thing screwed into the ground. Um, I'm gonna, the awning arm is right here next to me, so I'm just gonna basically walk it straight out and put it into the ground down here, and then we'll uh, do the other end. So with this system of anchor, you'll see that there's a gap down here that this slides onto. I like to have that gap face away from the rig because every once in a while the wind will blow and your awning will actually go slack and this will drop down. So if it was on the awning like this, it's pulling like this and if it goes slack, it'll drop down sometimes. If it's on this other side, it'll drop off and then you're not secure anymore. So I like to have, I like to have it on this side so when it goes slack, it just falls to the ground and it's fine, it's still attached. All right, that's two anchors down. So now let's go ahead and roll the awning out and I'll show you how the straps go on. The awning controls are in here and so I control them from in here. Brian will let me know outside if I need to go out or come back in and get it just right. Ready? Yep. Okay, you can see we have a pool noodle up here. We put that out. We didn't take that in from the storm, but we leave that up there because the awning will actually lay on the edge of the slide and we don't want it to rip a hole in it. Keep coming. Okay, we got a flap coming down. When the awning gets out to this point, we actually like the this flappy part to be hanging on the outside and this channel here that you see running down on the inside because this is where the light hooks are going to go. So go ahead and run it in just a little bit. There we go. So now the flap is where we like it and the channel's on the inside. And we're gonna go ahead and start putting straps on. Okay, our awning, as you can see, it's windy. It's trying to pick up. So I wanna get this strap on quickly. I need to use picnic tables to get up here. I don't carry a ladder around yet. I might start carrying one, but get up here and wrap this around. And then bring it down and just feed it up through this little buckle here. And then I tighten it up. So at this point, uh, when you first put it out, you just want to like get it snug. So it's gonna, you know, be a little tight, but you don't want to like crank it down real hard. And as this is out, it's actually gonna warm up and loosen up a bit. So like the next day or later that first day, you're gonna come out and it's gonna be like this. So you're just gonna come down and just kind of, you know, just snug it up again. You want it to be nice, snug, but not pulling the awning down. So let's go ahead and do the front one. Okay, on this end, the mat actually makes me have to put the anchor farther out. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Before you start putting anchors to the ground, make sure you have all of your obstacles 
in the way and then you know where to put the anchors. Just like last time, feed it up through the buckle and tighten it down. You like all the pollen? <laughs> it's gross. Hey, these are the lights that we found. We found these at Walmart. They are LED globes. And the last thing is they're plastic, which is good because they're gonna be banging around up here and we don't want glass shards and stuff flying everywhere. It's a 32 foot long string. So I know basically from this corner, it'll run the entire length and then down the other strap, which we like. Uh, these are the hooks that I have. And this little end up here feeds through the barrel on the awning. And then this here, you just kind of feed the the light string through this hook end. Uh, it's kind of like clipping lights onto a gutter, uh, but this is our gutter, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and slide these on. I have to loosen the strap on this end to get into the end of the channel. I'll show you that in just a second. Normally I would do that before I put this strap on, but we've had some gusts still coming through today as this storm system moves on. Uh, so we wanted to get nice and secure. I can always loosen this and slide these on, which is what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I've got all of my clips slid into this channel here, and I've got my strap back on and nice and secured because we had some gusts come through. Uh, now I'm going to bring the lights up, and I'm going to start spacing these out through the channel here. I've got 10 of these hooks to go all the way down there, and the lights are going to run and hang on those, so let's do that. So I've got the lights on all these hooks and I've got all this extra here. I'm just gonna wrap it around and then we'll plug it in down at the bottom. All right, we got our awning lights all wrapped up down the strap here and I'm just gonna plug them into this extension cord. The one end of the extension cord is plugged in in our basement and we actually have it coming down and running under this mat so no one trips over it. And then I just plug this end in and our lights are on. So now let's go ahead and set these cameras up and we will show you kind of the rest of our little outdoor setup here. We're gonna move the picnic bench to somewhere useful. We've got our outdoor table, we've got a tablecloth, we've got chairs and some other things. So let's go ahead and run through that real quick and then we'll give you a quick tour when we're done. Okay, that's about it. I mean, it's really not a lot of stuff, especially when two people's doing it. Yeah, let's, let's go for a quick tour. All right, that didn't take too long. So we just kind of make things look a little bit nicer while we're out here. We always get a tablecloth. You can find these pretty cheap at Big Lots. I think this is only like three or four dollars because the spring ones are on sale. The tablecloth kit clips just keep the tablecloth in place when it's on these windy days. And I think we found those at Camping World. The children decorated these this morning for us, so they're helping to keep the tablecloth down as well and make it look a little nice for Easter and spring. So we just set up our chairs to kind of be out here and talk and have ice cream in the evenings or have popcorn out here. We had chairs for the little ones at Camping World. We found these. Brian and I found our chairs at Sam's Club and I think they were about $35 a piece. And they fold up really nice, which is why we wanted to get those. And they have a little side table that comes with them because our chairs that we were using previously didn't have a place to put a beverage. So. We really are enjoying those. We also have this small outside table that we found at Camping World right outside of Buffalo when we were staying overnight. We really like it. It folds up nice and small and the legs go in and we can just slide it right in here and fits perfectly. We use this mostly for bringing groceries in or like a kind of a landing pad before we go into the rig for any type of thing that might need to dry or anything like that. Okay, so not only does the outdoor camping mat help kind of keep stuff off your feet so you're not going straight from mud into the rig, we also have one of these little scrubby mats down here. So when you're coming in, if your shoes are extra dirty, you can kind of scuff them off. We also found these. These are really cool. These are like a rubberized diamond plate. They were just stick on. They're like two bucks at Harbor Freight. So we got three of these to put in the middle of our stairs because when these get wet and especially icy, you step out on this, you're going all the way down. And both Aaron and I have fallen all the way out and that sucks. And the last thing, that's how those stairs go in if you've never seen that. Last thing is we used to use like normal tent stakes to keep the camping mat down to keep it from blowing away. We didn't like these, they kept breaking and bending and if they really got stuck in the ground, you'd basically have to break them to get it out. So we switched to this nail style. This one's not in all the way, uh, cause I think I hit concrete or a big rock down here. 
but it's back here under the stairs so no one's going to trip over it. But this nail style is nice because it goes into the ground very easily and holds very tightly and it's metal so we're not going to break it trying to get it back out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below how do you set up your area when you get to a campground. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and 5 togocom our website where Brian's writing a lot of really good blog posts about camping and traveling and doing things with kids. If you'd like to go behind the scenes with us and kind of see how we do what we do and a little bit more into our day-to-day -day life, check us out on patreon.com slash 5 to go and join our 5 to go family. We'd love to see you there. Have a good day, happy Easter, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.